Hey guys, I'm hanging out down here with my friends the dandelions and today I'm going to teach you how to make dandelion fritters by um, battering the delicious dandelion flower heads and frying them up and then you can put some maple syrup on top and it's a really good wild edible treat. So um, the first thing you want to know about harvesting dandelion is you want to make sure that you're harvesting the right flower. There is one flower that looks kind of like dandelion. It's called cat's ear. So a couple ways to make sure you're getting dandelion. Um, you'll notice that the leaves have these very spiky triangular points on them that look sort of like teeth. And um, they're actually pretty, pretty flat and smooth. Here's a leaf of the cat's ear. See how it's got kind of rounded little bumps and it's very hairy. And we're going to compare that. Here's a dandelion leaf. Notice that kind of double toothed look. And the, tooth, the teeth on the dandelion leaf are very sharp. Dandelion also, pick one of these, has a hollow stem. So if I break open the stem, you'll see that it's actually hollow on the inside. And there's kind of this milky substance that comes out of it when you break it open. That's really uh, unique to dandelion. You'll also notice that dandelion has one flower head on each stem and cat's ear will sometimes split in between and have multiple flower heads. And cat's ear, although it does have a yellow flower that looks a lot like dandelion, it tends to be a little bit smaller also. So now that you know how to properly identify your dandelion, find yourself a park with a patch of dandelions. Make sure not to take more than 25% of what's there and go out and grab yourself a bag full of dandelion flower heads. And next I'll teach you how to fry them. So I've got my bag of dandelion flowers. I kind of wish I'd brought a paper bag, but I didn't have one. So they're getting a little bit wilty in there, but oh, I think I got an ant in there. I'm gonna take them home and I will teach you how to fry them up. So I'm back home in the kitchen now and I've got my beautiful dandelions spreading to be made into fritters. Um, you'll also need a mixing bowl, a whisk, your flour and something to make the batter stickier. So a lot of people will just throw an egg in. I'm gonna be making mine vegan dandelion fritters. So I'm going to use a mixture of flax seed and chia seed. So here I'm gonna add a little bit of chia seed and I'm gonna mix it with flax seed. And if you have either one of these, um, you can use either one. You don't have to use both. Um, but they won't work unless you first mix them with some warm or hot water. That's going to kind of activate them, make them sticky. So now I've got my nice sticky consistency and I'm going to add this to my flour. And it's not an exact science. I'm just going to add as much as you think you would need. It's going to come out kind of pancake batter consistency. And the more dandelions you harvest, the more you're going to need. I need to now add some water to this. Now I'm going to add my um, chia seed flax seed mixture, or this you could add an egg. Mix that in. Now what I'm going to do is set my whisk aside and I'm going to dip my dandelion flowers one at a time head first like this into the batter and then I want to make sure I get some on the other side too. And that battered flour is going to go right into my hot frying pan. So the next part is to one by one batter your dandelion flowers and drop them into a large frying pan that's got a fair bit of oil in it. Um, and your fingers are probably going to get really sticky and covered in batter as you reach in and dunk your dandelions one by one. Um, it's useful to have in your other hand a pair of tongs or chopsticks because you want those fritters to get golden brown on one side and then you're going to have to flip them. And trying to do that with your fingers when they're really hot is going to probably burn your fingers. So I'm pulling off my first batch and I'm finding that once I've done my first flip, usually I can tell if they're done on the other side if they sort of stick to the pan just a little bit. And they should have kind of that golden brown look. Uh, you may have to fiddle with the heat a little bit as you add and remove flowers, and you really don't want to burn your oil. So if it starts to smoke, you need to either add more oil or turn down the heat. 
just finished my delicious dandelion fritters. And one of the things, look how beautiful these are. You can see the little flowers, like little sunshines. One of the things that I love about these is they're crispy on the outside, but they're kind of like juicy on the inside. I like to have mine with a little maple syrup drizzle over top. My housemate the other day had them with salt. I've never had them with, uh, with just salt, but you could try that too, to have a more savory fritter. And then the last step is to sit down and eat them with someone you love. Mmm! Mmm, 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 mmm!